OK, welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming. We're going to start with questions now. Guys, we're now out of time. We're starting to get down to the nitty-gritty. Just four teams left in the Carabao Cup and the stage is set for an absorbing semi-final. It's Liverpool, they face Manchester United and it's live on EA TV. Good evening, this is without question one of the true cathedrals of football. Anfield, the venue tonight. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender, Lee Dixon. And what we have coming up for you is the semi-final first leg in the Cup. It is Liverpool versus Manchester United. Well, I was more a fan of a single-leg semi-final, but two legs, you've got to be cautious a little bit in the first one. You don't want to give too much away in this first leg. Looking forward to this one, the pressure's on. Number 14... Jordan Henderson. Thank you, Anfield. Enjoy the game. So much looking forward to this. Liverpool kick off. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joe Gomez in central defence. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Opportunity it is. Can they put it away? Not a time for composure on the ball. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea stands between the posts. Harry Maguire plays alongside Victor Lindelof in central defence. As for the attackers, Edinson Cavani starts together with Marcus Rashford. And that's an important intervention. Explosive attacking qualities can be so important. Look no further than Mo Salah. He's really hit form of late. Defenders are really going to have to watch him. Four goals in the last three matches. Can they get themselves in front here? Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Given away by Manchester United. And Mohamed Salah now. He could pick out a teammate. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Liverpool. And an effective clearance. Just cutting off the supply. Firmino. And now Henderson. 
Oh, a good diving save. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural break before administering the caution. And a short corner, let's see. Electing to cross into the centre. Over the top, into the stride of Sadio Mane. And pull back. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Let's have another look at this. He wasn't expecting the ball, but when it comes to him, he chooses early to volley it. What a finish. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. So the game has restarted. Liverpool in front. Number nine, Roberto Firmino. Alex Tellez has it. It's now with Van der Beek. Given away by Manchester United. The outcome is a goal kick here. Williams. United could get in behind the defence. Oh, he's through here. Rashford! Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines late. Well, he hit it. He's got to do better than that. Henderson. Mane. Mane. Well, they have it again. Oh, really close. Just over the top. Being pressed hard. And a strong tackle. Roberto Firmino. Can they slot it home? And in at the second time of asking, but the goalkeeper badly at fault. Well, let's have a look at that replay. As a defender, all, all the defenders in the box, you've got to be a pessimist. You've got to expect something bad to happen. It's back off the keeper, and now it's in the back of the net. So 2 0 now. For Liverpool, number nine, Roberto Firmino. Donny van der Beek. And he takes it away. Alexander Arnold. And here's Wijnaldum. Alexander-Arnold. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. And still an opportunity. Good pressure to regain possession. Firmino. Possession one. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? In position. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded, and the timing to get this spot on. Yes, it needs a bit of luck. But boy, does it need skill as well. It's a brilliant goal. Well, Derek is angry because they've lost their focus. Sloppy play. He'll be on their case now. Back in action then. And you sense United have the momentum at the moment. Oh. 
Wijnaldum. And a tidy ball. On and on he goes. Fabinho. Oh, good use of the ball. Roberto Firmino. 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 Really important tackle. And Mohamed Salah now. Attending to his defensive chores. And there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. A real opening now. Still a chance. And not cleared away properly. Well, they can keep possession now. Mane. Andrew Robertson. It's with Fabinho. The outcome is a goal kick here. Well, how about this for a big transfer story? Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has completed his move to Real Madrid. Well, he's been the obvious target for many clubs and you can see why he's a top player. Lots of people will love playing with this lad. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Liverpool. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. An effective challenge. Well, it's Mane moving through the gears. Thou shalt not pass was the message delivered. Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. And a poor ball. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, it petered out. And taking it away. Fabinho. Wijnaldum now. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Salah. Alexander-Arnold. He's in behind. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, it is good play. You might question the defending, but I prefer to be positive. Really good build-up and an easy finish. A chance to revisit the goal. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Bruno Fernandes. And very deftly cut out. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. Andrew Robertson. Well, racing past his man. Mane. Oh, in with a chance! Mane! And a marvellous save! Well, his reflex is there, absolutely spot on. That's why they work so hard in training goalkeepers to pull saves off like that. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Virgil van Dijk. On and on he goes. Can he open them up here? Ronaldo. Here's Salah. A very effective challenge put in. Well, he thought he might have got away with it, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card. And that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield. Back in business, and United's struggles were there for all to see in the first 45. Can they put up a better fist of it?
Donny van der Beek. Bruno Fernandes has it. It's with Roberto Firmino. Mane. Andrew Robertson. And take it away. Henderson. Encouraging move from Liverpool. Alexander Arnold. Thumped clear. Fabinho. Wijnaldum. Firmino. And, and couldn't stay on side. That's a pity. Needs to tread carefully. Is it going to be Firmino? And that's a straightforward stop. Surely. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Liverpool facing Wolves. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast flowing football there. Possession one. Fabinho. Can he finish? Well, they've solved the problem. And he has just fractionally misfired. Yeah, he should have put his laces straight through the ball. Sometimes you can get too cute. It's going to be a story of two substitutes on at the same time for United. And Liverpool come away with it. Roberto Firmino! His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, here's the replay. You have to say he's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. It's a good finish and a richly deserved hat-trick. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. James and we're inside the final 30 minutes oh he's given the ball away unnecessarily Henderson. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Manchester United taking on Brighton. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. It should be a really entertaining match. Tremendous challenge. Fabinho has the strength to hang on to it Fabinho 
Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. He read the situation defensively and did his job. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Will he play it in? And with that, the attack fizzles out. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. Into the box it goes. He'll take it away. He won the ball. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And it might be. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Beautiful pass. Over the touchline for a throw-in. So, 20 minutes to go. Now, let's see what they can do here. Origi. It could be the big moment for him. Wonderful challenge, but the chance is still on. And the danger cleared. Wijnaldum. Origi. Went in strongly, decisively. Origi. Alexander Arnold. On and on he goes. Played into the centre. Well thumped clear. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Salah. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. They have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Using his physical strength to shield it. He's beaten his man. The delivery from Salah here. Comfortably. Salah. Electing to cross into the centre. Mane. Perfect challenge. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Salah. And a good looking ball. Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. Paul Pogba Alex Tellez has it Liverpool have the ball once more free kick awarded to Liverpool and opting for the lenient approach the referee rather than cautioning him and fired from the flank into the area making sure nothing untoward happened Opportunity to deliver the cross. Milner. Van Dijk with it. Robertson. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Virgil van Dijk. Cross that no one can latch onto the ball. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. 
Fabinho. Alexander Arnold. Naby Keita. Origi. Origi. Just the challenge that was required. Origi. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Good work to regain possession. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Liverpool. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. And Mohamed Salah now. Here's Robertson. Mane. And here's Robertson. Mane. And deliver towards the back post. Sensational goalkeeping from David De Gea. Mane. Targets available. Cross comes in. Not messing around with that clearance. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Mane. It is a decent looking attack here. The cross comes over from well cleared away. And with that, the referee blows his whistle. It's full time, the end of this first leg. And Liverpool are at the moment in the advantageous position. Yeah, still plenty of work to be done in the second leg, but I was impressed with how they approached the game. Being pressed hard. And a strong tackle. Roberto Firmino! Can they slot it home? And in at the second time of asking, but the goalkeeper badly at fault. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? In position. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have. Alexander Arnold. He's in behind. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Virgil van Dijk. And Liverpool come away with it. Roberto Firmino. His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't... Well, that's a super ball over the top. And it might be. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? In position. Oh, tremendous goal. Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. And it might be. And a goal here. There it is. They... We'd like to ask you some questions about the match. Thanks.
Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. Well, it's a beautiful day for football. No complaints whatsoever on that front here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester United facing Brighton and Hove Albion. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Hopefully it won't disappoint. Well, Manchester United know how to finish ruthlessly. In fact, they have the best goal-scoring record in the league, Lee. Yes, Derek, in front of goal, they seem to be faultless. Superb creative element to this team provides the chances, and they don't waste too many, do they? Clinical. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea begins in goal. That's alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. And up front, Marcus Rashford starts alongside Edinson Cavani. Davy Prupper. Mopé. Real chance. And a goal! Not bad for starters, they take an early lead. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender, and he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper, who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. The opening goal of the game, then. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And Donate. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. Something to worry about here. Really good attacking play. Opportunity, and it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion, and looking very comfortable here. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of the defender, and then through on goal. Do you go for placement, or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. It's going their way, 2-0. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. On to Van der Beek. And he read it well. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And I believe there's been a goal in the Sheffield United game. Alan McAnally. And maybe Rashford. Can they put it away? Oh, and he puts away the second chance. Goalkeeper error. Well, here's the replay. The keeper's made a save, but it's not good enough. It's back into play. But he was first to react, and it's in the back of the net. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Number seven, Edinson well, for understandable reasons, we had to cut off Alan McAnally. To confirm, Sheffield United have scored in that game, and the match is level at 1-1. And news of a goal at St Mary's. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Leeds United. 14 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Couldn't keep it. What can they do from here? March. He could pick out a teammate. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. 
And deep into the penalty area. Oh, just over the bar. Seemed to catch it with the top of his head. Good opportunity, that. Samuel Umtiti. On to Van der Beek. It's with Alex Tellez. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. It could be up for grabs. Well, no damage done. March. It's Dan Byrne. Beautifully timed. He's in here. The defender doing his job. And now the delivery. Punching it clear. It might be on for them, but it can't get all the way through. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Bisuma. Throw-ins given. Given away by Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes. Not a good pass. And a tidy ball. March. Can they get in behind them? Dangerous looking attack. While well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. Neil Mopé. Prepare. There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, here we see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then he almost mishits it, to be honest. You just wonder if that deceived the keeper a little bit. But either way, I'm sure he won't care about that. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. And a goal to tell you about at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 31 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. And Tony. And space for the cross. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Mason Greenwood. Oh, great defending. That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post. It's about being brave and diving at players' feet. Bruno Fernandes. Rashford. And that'll be offside. I believe there's been a goal in the Spurs game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Kevin De Bruyne. The keeper was left with no chance. Off the knee of the defender and into the back of the net. 36 minutes played. 1-1. Thanks, Alan. Well, as we can see, Brighton certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession. If you have that much of the... And he's through here. It has to be, surely. Well, a bad pass it was.
Alexis McAllister. March. Pulls it back. And it's still on for him. Didn't fool the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. And firing it into the area. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross, and he gets up well, and it's just wide. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Great strong tackle, throw-in forthcoming. And that's going to be the goalkeeper's ball. On and on he goes. Can he get one back? Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. It had an invitation attached, but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity. Well, just look at him. He thinks it's in just wide. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. And that was a very fine read. Dan Byrne. And Feltman with it here. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. United might be able to cash in. Oh, big chance! A goal! He's dispatched it! Much to the sheer delight of the fans! Well, they're back in it, Derek. I don't know how, because they've been shocking, but you look at the scoreline, one goal in it. Who knows what's going to happen in the second half? Half-time around the corner. Well, he knows that's a bad goal to give away. His disappointment is obvious. There goes the half-time whistle, bringing to an end a first half of frustration for Manchester United. They've got to improve, Lee. Well, sometimes a team needs to remember there's two ends to a football pitch. It's a simple game. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Greenwood and providing width. Rashford in the middle. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Davy Prupper. Well, the pass not finding its target. And that will be the keeper's ball. McAllister. Well, there's been speculation about this for a while, but now the deal has gone through. Toby Alderweireld has completed his move to Real Madrid. Well, Derek, a fee of around £40 million is being bandied around. That place... Can he finish? Well, keeper getting both gloves on the ball. And news of a goal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's get that news from Alan. It's a second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Lucas. He was played a simple pass from a free kick and he hit it from distance. And it might be. And the keeper had the measure of it. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Over it comes. He takes aim. Able to get his body in the way.
Well, we did have to cut Alan McAnally short there. Just to confirm, Tottenham did score in that match. And they're winning in that game at the moment by two goals to one. Committed challenge. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Manchester United taking on Leeds United. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. This looks promising. And Tone and Koulibaly thwarting them. And a change to the scoreline at the Emirates Stadium. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a second goal for Fulham. 60 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. And the danger is averted. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, the visitors very much dictating the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so, creating lots of chances now. You think if they get another, then it's going to be really tough for the opposition to find a way back into this. And they need to get tighter here. Well, thumped clear. Here's a change for Manchester United. And now the delivery. Well, it can be a hit or a miss when it comes to striking it on the volley. Yeah, you always take a risk when it comes in like that, but he took a chance, he was brave. Just not his day on that occasion. And getting in there to intercept. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Sheffield United. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Well, something has happened at the Emirates Stadium. A goal has been scored. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Arsenal. 67 minutes played. 2-2. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Can he put it away? Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Bisuma. And scope for them to produce something exciting. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And he takes it on! And a goal, almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, Derek, I need to see this again. Hard to work out how he gets the ball to move so much. It's breathtaking technique, it really is. I love this. So the current scoreline, 4-2. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Bruno Fernandes. Van der Beek. Rashford. A goal has been scored at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's find out more about it from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Kevin De Bruyne. A fantastic 40-yard pass dropped right at his feet, leaving him the simple task of putting it in the net. 74 minutes played. 2-2. Thanks, Alan. Fifteen minutes remaining. Making progress. In position. 
Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Over it comes. And he clears the danger. Davy Prupper. Prepare. They've won back possession. Bruno Fernandes. Greenwood. Now, what can they do from here? And he takes it away. And I believe there's been a goal in the Sheffield United game. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Sheffield United. Nine minutes remain. 3-3. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. And he read it well. Opportunity it is. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Davy Prupper. And in with a real chance. Well, a textbook interception. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Well, they've decided to make a change. Greenwood. No real conviction in the challenge. Could pull one back here. Oh, a tremendous block. And over comes the corner. Quite simply, not clinical enough with the header, Lee. Well, headers are always difficult. It's all about timing, and he got the timing completely wrong there. A fine reading of the situation. Dunk. McAllister. And very deftly cut out. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Marcus Rashford. Can they hit on the break? Cavani and a tidy challenge Joel Feldman Webster in possession and there's the final whistle the grim news from the Manchester United point of view is that United haven't picked up anything from this game Lee, your thoughts? Well, when you have a blueprint on how you play as a team and the standards expected of you, then that's your minimum every week. They have not hit those targets today and paid the price. Not good enough. Mopé. Real chance. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. something to worry about here really good attacking play opportunity and it goes two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here and maybe Rashford can they put it away oh and he puts away the second chance goalkeeper error Prepare. There it is. Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. United might be able to cash in. Oh, big chance. And the 
keeper had the measure of it. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. And he takes it on! And a goal almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. In position. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal. And maybe Rashford. Can they put it away? Oh, and he puts away the second chance. Goalkeeper error. Well, here's the replay. The keeper's made a save, but it's not good enough. It's back into play, but he was first to react. United might be able to cash in. Oh, big chance. Just a couple of questions for you. No further questions.